Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Progressions, one of the latest releases uh, from Four Pockets. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So Progression is very much an a UV free um, application and works as a standalone as well, but really it's been designed to work as an AUV free product. And uh, it's uh, an intelligent chord generator. It's quite interesting. I have recently created um, a series of tutorials for Scalar 2 and, um, and then progressions came out from Four Pocket. And I think it's quite, um, quite a good uh, addition and can work uh, quite closely with uh, Scalar 2 and I will create some tutorials to explain how that works. As you can see, this is what it looks like when you have uh, opened it. Nice user interface. It's very much um, using uh, predefined controls as you have seen in other application from Paul, uh, from Four Pockets, uh, which is nice, which means that it's very easy to learn because you get you're already familiar with uh, how the controls work this video is very much an introduction it's a getting started uh, video i will create other tutorials to show you how it works so but in general how does it work well <clears throat> it works uh, um around creating a progression of chords based on a tonal mode so instead of using scales for example scalar 2 you select the scale so you detect chords from an audio input uh, and then you determine which scales fit uh, within those chords and you can also have suggestion etc etc so um, progressions doesn't work like that so progression allows you to first select the key up here so you say for example key of c or key of a then what you do you select a mode which can be major or minor, let's say minor for now. Okay, and then you have two further selection, a freedom and a complexity. And I will go through those into more details in uh, the next tutorials, but essentially complexity gives you the ability to generate codes, which are more and more complex, starting from triads, then going to words, uh, your six and seven, ninths, uh, elevens and thirteen, etc, etc. I will explain that in more details in the next videos. And freedom instead allows you, based on um, the circle of fifth diagram, which you see here on the top left, to choose how far from the left and to the right of that central uh, tunnel around A in this case, um, to go in terms of generating, uh, for example, uh, chords which is effectively is randomized uh, uh, set of codes which are generated based on the parameter which are selected. Okay, so, in, and you, it's quite nice because you have different modes to see that. If you click where it says here mode, it shows you here what is the degree of freedom in terms of choosing um, codes related to your tonic here uh, through the circle of uh, fifths. So it's quite nice. And then, as I said, you set the complexity. And then when you're done, you just click and hold generate here, and then it generates a number of chords. Okay. You can enable to play the chords here. So you can have uh, uh, on and off the pad preview. So if you click on a pad, you hear that chord. Now, you can hear that there is an instrument. If you don't like to use that inst internal instrument, go up to the menu here choose instrument settings this is where you can select your sound font the for the instrument from the sound font you can set the volume for example the reverb uh, parameter in size color and mix and also the octave as well but if you don't like to use that then disable it like so and when you have done that then you have to create in this case i'm using aum another audio channel and then you need to select uh, something else as an audio source. In this case, I'm going to select uh, Pure Piano. And of course, you need to make the connection between the two so that progressions uh, can drive Pure Piano. So in this case now, if I press on uh, the pad, I can hear the sounds related to that pad and the four chords going now into uh, Pure Piano. 
That's really nice. As you can see, I've generated uh, a series of codes based on the parameters which I set, like the key, the mode, the freedom, and the complexity, right? And and the great thing is that, um, yeah, it's not generating code strictly based on a scale, right? Um, which is really nice. And you have options as well for open codes, humanization, you can edit your codes, you can do a lot of things. Additionally, again, these are just a um, getting started uh, tutorial. You can play just normal codes, or you can play, for example, arpeggetto or strumming. So, for example, let me play, um, let me sync it as well to the host. You, you press here the syncing mode, and let's press play, and then switch from block code to arpeggetto and strumma. Okay, so as you can see, it's um, quite um, quite nice. Um, so to see the code generated based on the parameters that you actually have set in this case, as we said, freedom, complexity, the mode, and the key as well. Um, what I find also useful is to use another product from four pockets in conjunction with progression. So if we remove that pure piano there and we search for Evolver, then we can use Evolver actually to create the arrangement based on the codes which are coming from progression. So let's link the two of them like so. And then let's go inside Evolver and uh, let's choose a performance. So let's scroll down right to the bottom. There is one which I like, the trancy uh, thing. Okay, let's load it. Right, and um, let me show you. So I'm going to um, show you, first of all, uh, the same progression as it's just been generated, played through Evolver FX, and then I'm going to add the bass note as well, which will trigger also the bass inside the Evolver FX. So let's try. <laughs> of using it with a Volva um, is actually you have the arrangement based on the code produced automatically for you or played automatically for you. Of course, you need to choose the right settings in terms of uh, the different zones in terms of inside the Volva FX to ensure that the right, uh, uh, the right zone are actually played. But nevertheless, it's just uh, good to see a very quick example of how that sounds using different performances inside the Volvo FX and how progression drives uh, or can drive in this case a Volvo FX. <music> What it is quite nice in this case is not playing the total arrangement, right? You hear that plucking sound because I don't have the bass note, which is actually added on top of the code which is being played directly through your MIDI output. It's not showed here on this uh, on the keyboard view, on the piano uh, view. So it's really nice to switch between the two. At any moment in time, I can click and hold the generate to generate another uh, uh, progression of codes. I can also enable open code, which is really nice. So let's try. You can see the codes now are in open position. So let's try this new generated this sequence. <music> I 
as I enlarge the freedom, which you very much can see here. So let's go to a level up. Okay, see it is extended as a range. You find that, of course, you can go into more experimental type of progression. And let's increase also the complexity as well. For example, something like media, click and hold, generate. And let's play. You will hear, of course, different type of chords now. And uh, the mood will start to change. interesting if you play with uh, a larger range of freedom and complexity then I tend to prefer a performance uh, which is more towards a chill uh, type of style so let's say what the, the, the same set of chords sounds with a different performance inside of all our effects <laughs> Before I close the video, I want to show you how great it is to use progression with other tools. So first of all, let's go back to that trancy thing um, performance, which uh, I like the vibe of that one. So that's loaded. Now let's load another audio channel and in that we uh, load scalar, like so. And let me show you how you can use it in combination with progression. So let's link uh, scalar to, uh, to progression, like so. And then inside Scala 2, what we are going to do is we're going to choose a different preset. So we're going to say play, for example, uh, Super So. And then we enable the perform mode. And I've done a lot of videos on uh, Scala 2, so I recommend that you look at the videos. And then let's go to Melody. Let's choose a Motifs. And let's go to, I don't know, to Motif uh, uh, H. Let's try that one. We increase, we double the speed as well. We have only melody, no code melody. And let's play and see what happens. <laughs> As you can see, you can actually utilize progressions with Scalar 2. And in this uh, case, I was actually using a Scalar 2 to generate uh, an initial melody and using the chord progression, which was uh, coming from, is coming from progressions. And at the same time, progression was uh, sending the same chord uh, to Evolver FX, another fantastic uh, product from Four Pockets, creating the arrangements that you uh, could hear. So as you can see, I have only three audio channels, uh, one using progression, one Evolver FX, and one Scalar 2. And uh, 
the sounds are, uh, well, what comes out in my opinion is absolutely great because I created that only in a couple of minutes, really. So I definitely recommend that you um, get, if you haven't got yet, progressions and uh, Evolver FX, which are great products from Paul, from Paul from four pockets okay i'm going to stop here and this was just uh, an introductory video as i explained already and uh, i'm going to create definitely a lot of other uh, tutorials it will be a series of tutorials on how to use progression with of course other tools like scalar or others as well um and uh, as always see you next time bye